So I filmed this right here on uh, Tuesday morning. And for some reason, I've got this clip. It didn't pick up audio. And then the clip after this right here, I filmed it today. So you're going to see the difference between Tuesday morning and Thursday afternoon on what it looks like on this job. Uh, and neither one of them picked up audio, so I don't know. Sometimes it... Uh, it does it, and sometimes it don't. Uh, I've done all kind of uh, searches and digging, trying to figure out if it's uh, you know the rhyme or reason or anything like that. And I hadn't figured anything out about it. So anyhow, so that leads us to a voiceover. So uh, this week here, on uh, Monday we got twenty five loads. Tuesday we got twenty five. Wednesday we got twenty five. And Thursday uh, was going to get uh, 26, but I have the last truck, or yeah, last truck, it slung the drive shaft out of it. One of the uh, U-joints came out of it this afternoon when he was coming back to get it. So it put us at uh, getting just 25 today. I don't know if they found a drive shaft. He wasn't but just a few miles from, from getting back to us, but you can you can see right here just kind of keep this in your mind the way this looks right here because you're going to see this same thing here in a little bit but he had the i i don't know if they found a drive shaft or not where it came out of that truck and uh so he wasn't about uh four or five miles from us from being back so i put us at 25 today so we're um at 100 for the week in four days uh the pine put wood all we could haul pine put wood wise this week was four loads and that was it. I mean we're not getting no more. Matter of fact, paper mill ain't even taking tomorrow or which is when I say tomorrow, it'll be today when y'all watching this, it'll be Friday. They're not even taking wood, but I had I hauled those four loads by Tuesday that they had uh that they had given us. So got them out of the way. If you can see what to cut completely looks like right there in that shot right there those trees that are in the center of the screen right there where the vehicles are parked uh, we left those for just solely shade trees that way in case you know something breaks or anything you know we we can get over and work in, in the shade we still got all this pine right there to cut to the right right there where i'm turning that right now all right, so this is Thursday right here. This is, I filmed this Thursday afternoon. You can see all the pine putt wood that's kind of in front of my loader right there. All oh, that's a massive pile of pine putt wood. We'll just have to haul it when we get a chance to haul it. I don't think it's going to be hauled in the next uh, two to three weeks. I think it's going to be slow on all that. You, know, you can see what we've cut compared to the other video. If you want to flip it back, you can flip it back see the difference in what it looks like a couple of days later we still got the trees right there for the shade where we left them at you can see where kevin is right there kind of on the left center of the screen we're about to move all the way to the right down there that cul-de-sac is straight in front of you in just a second i'll pull the camera back around over there and show you what we're going to work on here in a minute but um, that finger tree sticking out right there in the middle is a that's a SMZ streamside management zone. So this is what we're gonna hit. Uh, start on it Friday. What's on the right hand side of the screen right there? Kind of got that little V in it right there in the middle of it. We're gonna set it right there at the back of that cul-de-sac and go to town on cutting it. And you can see the rest of everything that we got left to cut straight ahead of us right there. You can see right where the pine is right here way it looks right there so that's what we'll be working on tomorrow while y'all are watching this video here once we get that cut then we're going to go straight where the drone is flying and work all that pine right there too um it's going to be interesting on the with the paper mill what ends up going on with them because they're about to go into shutdown mode i think for doing their normal shutdown and so uh gonna be really really slow to you can see the pile here where i zoom in on it 
everything on the left, and then there was piggyback right there. All that is pine, put wood. What's on the right hand side on both sides of my loader is logs, and then what's right against the butt of my loader is some uh, poles, utility poles right there. They got poles, so it gives you a pretty good uh, idea right there what we what we got going on. So I'm gonna bring the drone in. I had to order me some more drone batteries for my drone. Uh, the batteries I've got is about a year and three months old now, and I had one start trying to swell up on me, and they getting where they wasn't really holding charge, holding charge like what they were too. So I uh, I went ahead and ordered two, and they came in today and got them situated. You see Derek killing the saw disc right there, and got them going. Them uh, DJI batteries are uh, they're pretty pricey too. The I checked the charge cycle that I had on the one that started swelling and it had a uh, 40, I charged it 41 times is what I had charged it before it was going bad. So I'm not real happy about that. So enjoy the rest of this video. We'll catch y'all later. I want to show y'all something here. I had the house wash yesterday. There's no boy over, uh, out of Math Matheson, Mississippi that, uh, washes. I happen to, know him and I called him the other day and I said his name's Chris I said man you want to run by and look at my house and shop and see about washing them I said do you come, ever come to Columbus he said oh yeah I come to Columbus all the time and I said all right well next time you over here I said swing by he said okay so he texted me yesterday morning and said that he was gonna come by and give me a price on it I was like all right that'll work want the concrete done and the sidewalk done and also my shop down there to wash so uh he he drove up here uh, looked at it texted me a price and i didn't realize he had his stuff with him to do it i told him i said get after it and man he went to town on it i mean this concrete right here looks brand new the shop down there looks fantastic too. I mean, it, uh, we, uh, see, Jill and I built this place 2002. We've been here 18 years now. And this is the first time it's been showing up wash this hardcore like this right here. But, uh, that's what he does. And <clears throat> I'm going to give him a, uh, I'm going to give him a shout out. <laughs> and uh, he didn't, uh, there wasn't anything exchanged on this or nothing. I like helping people who work hard. You know what I mean? It's like the Ellis's over there at Northport Power Equipment and just all the other stuff that I do from time to time, things that I show and help promote people. But this is Chris's business right there. It's Bulldog Pressure Washing Solutions. And it's uh, not spelled normal Bulldog. It's B-U-L-L-D-A-W-G. You can find him on uh, Facebook here, his page right there. And that's what he does for a living, man. He washes his stuff. But I tell you, though, I am uh, I was ecstatic with the job, man, when he got home, when I got home yesterday. Uh, I still got some, uh, I had some, like this door over here. The reason why this door right here looks wider than this door is because this door is a lot newer <laughs> than this door. Why is this door newer than this, than this, why is this door so much newer than this door? Well, you need to ask Jill why in the world she backed through the door one day for in a brand new van. So this got as clean as it would get right here, and this door just needs to be repainted. It's what it needs to be done, but man, I'm pretty happy with it, the way it looks for the house to be 18 years old now, and it to be still like it is, man, I'm... I'm very, very happy with it. So there you go. If you're local or anything, you need some washing done. And he, well, I think he washes about everything too. I know he's got the, he's got a, is it Starwell Academy over there washing the bleachers and stuff over yonder. But uh, he does a uh, fantastic job too. I mean, oh y'all check this out. Look at him. As you're probably going to the uh, Air Force Base out there, I imagine, because that's the approach that they come in on. I'm not sure what those are. I'm not real familiar with all the helicopters that the military have. He 
they're probably stopping in for overnight, get fuel. They'll probably go somewhere else tomorrow. They have a lot of, it's a training base and, and uh, the planes, they come in right through there approaching that runway uh, going in the base it's not very far over there but uh they they bring a lot of planes in and out of here into the base uh back when they flew the space shuttle all the time when it was going back they would bring it into columbus air force base on the 747 and it would land there and would spend the night and refuel and then it'd take back off again. I got to see it uh, quite a few times over the years. So now I'm out and about. And this is my straw feeder here. I'm feeding uh, pellets and corn. I put 100 pounds in it. It took them a week or so, 10 days before they started hitting it. And they have, uh, they've mowed it up pretty good. There's been some people that's commented about the uh, raccoons here and uh i take care of the coons uh i work on them pretty dang good so there's really not an issue with uh with them right here because i stay on them pretty good but uh i'll show you what the protein somebody asked about that this is from uh it's a from a feed mill it's up at the houston mississippi Ware milling they make this it's a uh, 18 percent game feed right there i'm not sure what all it's got in it here it's called a uh, buck booster pellets i don't have my glasses on so i can't freaking see but uh, maybe that's focused on it right there uh so that's what the pellets are that i'm currently feeding right there and they're they're eating it well too and these are not that bad expensive they're only uh ten dollars or so a bag that's what they are uh, i think something like that at our Lowndes County Co-op here where I did a video but so I've been to put some in here and uh, I got some other feeders also too all right that's a uh, hundred and fifty pounds in there plus it has some already in there it would hold I could put 200 pounds in it and that's kind of the how I built it or it would hold four bags is what I wanted and uh, so we good to go I feed them year-round too Feed them year round. 